Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Taj and I'm a paycheck budgeter documenting my financial journey here on YouTube. If you are returning, welcome back beautiful budgeter. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I close out my monthly budget. Um, so we're going to be closing out the month of May. So if you are interested in seeing, girl, the whole unorthodox way of closing out a budget, then stick around and keep on watching. Get out the way, who got a watch, who got the time, I'm raising the clock Even in my feelings, grind don't stop, got big dreams, want big rocks I got plans, who got time All right, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back So we are going to be closing out the month of May, May budget And so, if you are new to my channel, um welcome <laughs> and um so the way that i close out my budget is not the normal way i guess that you will see someone closing out the budget i do not track every single thing i only track what's important to me and what is important to me is how much money i put toward debt how much money i put toward savings and then did my monthly income um did it come in under or over or right on the money of whatever my income um, goal was for the month? That's it. That's all. Okay. So, um, so let's go ahead and jump right on into the video. So first thing is first, this was my monthly spread for the month of May. I got my little scratch sheet here to the side because I do a little doodling as I'm flipping back and forth. Um, and I was, since I do have a lot of new subscribers, then I'll kind of go and kind of talk as I do this just so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about when I say I don't probably close out my budgets like the most popular way that you see um here on YouTube so um so first thing is first is I do make sure that everything that for the month of May was paid out um and this is this is why I like this page is because when I'm doing my closeout it's kind of a uh, it helps me when it comes down to um, my monthly tracking. It, it helps me come when it comes down to monthly closeouts because it's a little bit easier for me to kind of just glance to see and make sure I didn't forget any um, bills versus just kind of looking at this. This is an overall, I highlight as I pay it off or put a check mark by it, but it's a little bit easier on the eye when you're looking at it from here. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and jump on right on into the video. And the first thing is, so my budget goal for the month of May um, was $6,000. I wanted to bring in at least $6,000. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I add up my income to see if I met my goal, if it came in or under. Um, so we have $17,19,37,1035,06,1746,000. Uh, 240, 20, 11108, 61908, 61908, 61908, 61908, 61908, 61908, 61908, 61908, big deal sometimes throughout the month i'm like why do it feel like i'm like i'm struggling or i'm pinching or i'm whatever and a lot of times i can't really see it right then and there but when i do this it gives me a ha ha a ha moment where i'm like that's why everything seems so cut close because a lot of times i my bills is more than what i brought in and sometimes it's way close. Like my goal was six thousand. I bought in six uh seven thousand three hundred nine dollars and ten cent. So I only had thirteen oh nine. And I'm gonna show you how that it basically I basically came in under. Okay, so total expense. So let's go into total expense. 
the first thing I do is before I even go to my expense tracker, I flip back to um, the month of May where I was doing my individual paycheck budget. All right, y'all. I can easily go into this and just kind of um, add this up like my bills, but that wouldn't be accurate because with my total expenses, I count what I paid out in bills, what I stuffed in my envelopes. Um, all of that is included in uh, my total expenses. A reason being is because I can easily say, well, I only spent X, Y, Z amount of money on bills. Well, that's not really accurate because out of my income, I still put money to the side for sinking funds. I still put money to the, like, I want to know, I, I want to count all of that. So I make it easier on myself. I just, it's just very broad with me. What I brought in, how much I I paid out. Um, and because I say the reason why I include sinking funds is because it's a revolving door when it comes down to sinking funds. Sometimes I'm just, for some months I'm just adding and then some months I'm adding and putting back and taking away and subtracting, multiplying and dividing child. So um, my total expenses, what I like to do is go into the individual weeks and just add up um, my expenses. So for the first week of May, um, as far as monthly bills, we did 16, uh, 1605.10. Um, I also include groceries, gas, household, all that is an expense for me. So, um, that was 375. Uh, sinking funds. That's an expense for me. And, and it's an expense because that helps me to be able to contribute to them. I treat them like a bill. And even though sometimes I'm not able to contribute to them, I still look at them like a bill. Um, so that was 150. Um, the only thing I don't include is debt because I told, I add that up separately. Um, and then, um, uh savings so when i say savings is the i don't know if you watched my last video for those of you that watched my last video i mentioned that for the month of april and the month of may i wasn't doing it but i wanted i started i did it this last paycheck but anytime my extra income comes in over 1060 the over i always budget 1060 the overage i will put directly into the savings account that amount is what um, I budget for. Uh, I mean, I add up as savings. I'm kind of prematurely explaining things. Um, so it probably don't make sense. But once I get to those particular sections of my journal, it's going to kind of give you an aha moment. But just keep those type of nuggets that I'm throwing out uh, in mind, okay? I know it sounds a little like, what, girl, what? But... It's going to make sense. I promise. Um, but so for the month of April and May, I didn't do that. And so you'll see fast forward toward the end. You'll see where they all fall into play. Um, but savings challenges. I do put count savings challenges as an expense. So for savings challenges for the first week of um, May, I did $87. All right, so expenses for that one was two two thousand two hundred seventeen dollars and ten cents, and I go into my next week. All right, and then in the next week we did our expenses was one thousand ninety eight forty three. Um, our cash envelopes was one eighty. We didn't do anything for sinking funds. And then to our uh, savings challenge, we did 150 So for this week, it was $14.28.43. All 
All right. Then the next week we did um 22 16 plus our cash envelopes. Those were expenses. Um so it was 191.07. And then uh one forty. Uh and that's it. So five fifty three twenty three. I'm just jotting it down. All right, and then the last week of May. We did nine ninety six fifty four. All right. So if I add all of this, so so this is my expenses. All right. So if I add all of this up, just stick with me. It's gonna all make sense. So twenty two, twenty two, seventeen, ten. 14, 28, 43, 5, 53, 23, and 10, 90, 62. All right. So this totals 5,289, 38. Let me just double check myself. 2, 2, 1, 7, 10, 14, 28, 43, 5, 23, um and ten ninety sixty two five two eight nine three eight okay all right so this was my total expenses here so far all right then if we go back so now I want to add up my debt payments and this is savings, but I already know I didn't do nothing April and May. Um, as far as like contributing to savings by just transfer. I did with savings challenges, but not just strictly transferring over overage. Um, okay, so for debt, for the first week, we contributed um $150. And then for the second week, we contributed 105. For the third week, we did we did 336.24. I'm just writing like raggedy, but I'm just this is a spreadsheet. All right. Uh, for the fourth week. We did two thirty. All right, so if I add that up, all right, one fifty, one oh five, three thirty six twenty four, and two thirty. So eight hundred and twenty one dollars and twenty four cents. And unfortunately, we didn't just hold transfer nothing over. Um. Because as you can see, extra income for the month of May, nothing was over 1060. So that's why I didn't um transfer nothing over. It used to not be, then it started being over um 1060, which was a blessing, thankful. Um, and so I was like, well, let me take advantage of the fact that, you know, I'm bringing in more than 1060 for my extra income. So anything I will budget the 1060, like it always have been, but any overage, I'll just automatically transfer to my savings. And so that's what I was doing. But unfortunately for the month of April and May, I wasn't as fortunate, um, still blessed, but you know, it just wasn't over 1060 and I ain't, I ain't complaining. Uh, but, you know, I'm just explaining, you know, what happened. So, for debt, for the month of May, we bought in eight twenty one twenty four. All right? Um, so, now, 
for total expenses, right? So we budgeted, uh, we were hoping to bring in $6,000. Um, our total income was $7,309.10. Total expenses, if I add the $821.24 plus um, $528.00. Oh, five two eight nine thirty eight. All right, so that's gonna leave. That's gonna bring me to six thousand one hundred ten dollars and sixty two cents. So this was. This is my so far. This is my total expenses. Let me show you. Tell show you why I say at the end it's like an aha moment for me because although when you when I'm first doing my my budget is like oh okay I bought in a little bit over. But I do know that the month of May, I was pushing it, okay? So why was I pinching and why was I stretching so much if I was so, if I came over? Um, but it'll all make sense at the end. All right, so my total expenses so far is $6,110.62, but I still have to add my expense tracker. So let me explain to you about my expense tracker. A lot of people track um, everything that they spend, everything that they spend. Um, I do not do that. I ain't going to do it. I ain't got time for it, and it's not important for me, okay? Um, I only track my budget is, is my budget, okay? Your budget is your budget. You do what works for you and what you're interested in, in the same goal over here, okay? So, my experience tracker, what I use this for is any time that I swipe my card unexpectedly. I'm not going to, but I'm not going to expense track and save my receipts other than for my Fetch Rewards app, but I'm not writing down every time I went and spent money because my cash envelopes, I budgeted for that, right? So my cash envelopes, I budgeted for this. So every time I go to the store and I pull out of my wallet, I'm not gonna, I'm, and I pull cash out of one of these envelopes, I'm not going to, I'm not gonna write that in my expense tracker because I budgeted for it. The only time I track something here is if I spent money swiping my card and that's not what I budgeted for because I want to see at the end of the month how many times I swipe my car for what and go back to look to see what I could have avoided, okay? Most of the time, girl, it's food, okay? But <laughs> I, that's what I use my experience tracker for. Anytime that I swipe my car, my debit card or my credit card that I did not plan for, that's the only thing you're going to see me right over here. So, just as a glance, you already know a lot of this with the food. That's my problem, okay? But we, that's finna change. Um, so, I'm going to add up my totals here. Um, so, we know that, let's see. So, I'm going to add up for food. I already did my, like, my highlighting and stuff. So, food we did. Uh, 5, 3, 8, 12, uh, 13, 98, So total, we spent $1,394.37 unnecessarily. Well, I'm not going to say unnecessarily because like I say, 800 and something um, dollars went to uh, my daughter for different things for around graduation that I had done pretty much exhausted the, the, um, 
savings challenge that I was doing specifically for that. And I knew I was going to have to put more with it. Um, so just as a heads up for those of you who have not already experienced the whole daughter, son graduating, y'all start putting money to the side now because that stuff is expensive. Okay. Every time you turn around, you, you get and then Plus not only, you know, the senior dues and, um, uh, prom and, uh, you want them to be involved in everything they senior year. You also want to do things on the side for them too. You know, i.e. her, her, um, graduation cookout that we did. And like, it was just a lot. So, I underestimated it, but I got two more. And so I'm going to be very much overly prepared next time. But y'all, this was a eye opener for me. And for those of you that that's, ain't there yet, but you're going to get there, please put money to the side. Start now. I don't care if the child in the ninth grade, girl, put some money to the side, okay? Because baby, it's going it's to stick you for your paper. Um, so let me just make sure. Double check myself, 169, 42, 208, 83, 65, 63, 97, 87, 15, so 13, 94, 37. Okay, so this is what I spun that I did not already had planned and said I was going to spend on, okay? Um, other than the graduation, I didn't know how much more I was going to be adding to it. I just knew I was going to be adding something. I was hoping it wouldn't have been that much, but girl, it is what it is. So remember, um, I said my total expenses was $6,110.62. Well, the reason why I said that so far is because I still have to add the unexpected. So if I add the sixty one ten, um, sixty two, so to uh, my thirteen ninety four, my total is seven thousand five hundred four dollars and ninety nine cent. Girl, that's my total expense seven thousand five hundred four ninety nine. Minus my total income, 7309.10. So I only, uh, my difference, I was over $195.89. I ain't bringing shit forward. I didn't bring shit forward. <laughs> um, so this is what I'm saying. When you first look at it, this is what I use for those of you that do have this journal. This is how I use. Uh -oh. This is how I use mine. Mm -mm. Um, I only use my expense tracker for unexpected. I come up with a. I think about what I've made the previous two months, um, and I go for a budget goal. I track my income throughout the month. And do my total income to see if I came in, if I met my goal. And then I go into my expenses. I, my fixed expenses, my variables, all of those to me are expenses. My savings challenges, my sinking funds, all of those are expenses for me. Um, I treat them as expenses. That is money that I am actually taking out of my check and put, even though I'm putting it into an envelope for another day, it is still consider an expense to me so um so i use all of that total it up and then i go into my expense tracker to see what i spent unexpectedly or wasn't planned um and i add that to it that gives me my total expenses and then that shows me if even though it looks good here like okay i was a little bit over i was like 13 over once i subtract everything from it girl i was over i went over i was in the in the red i should have wrote that in red i was in the red 195.89 i contributed 821.24 this is where i put this at 821.24 is what i contribute to 
debt and unfortunately as far as transferring to the savings account um i didn't do nothing for the month of me so this is how i close out my budget y'all um i don't you know i know i don't this ain't the way that you that's popular that you see but i like i say i only track what's important for me i want to make sure that i paid out everything that i don't have nothing that's still waiting on me to pay i want to make sure i track all of my income and my expenses i want to make sure that um i focus on what i spent more on that i wasn't planning on I do need to slow down when it come down to the food. I say that every doggone, uh, I probably, this is the first time in a minute that, um, I have a lot of household because usually I don't have to spend unexpectedly on household, but it was something that we were doing around the house. I can't remember what it was, but that's why we ended up going to Lowe's. And then I think I ended up. I think all of that kind of fell into play. I can't remember what it was we were doing. Anytime you see Lowe's, it's something that I, some type of project or something small that I, I was doing around the house. But, um, I can't remember what it was. Oh, you know what I, you know what it was? I knew that we were, um, I knew that we were doing the whole thing for Anaya for graduation in the yard. And I, we were treating the yard for like, cause at the time, girl, mosquitoes and stuff was really, really bad. Um, so we were treating the yard and we was out getting stuff. Um, so that's what that was. But anyway, um, but that's how I close out my, that's how I close out my monthly, um, my monthly budget, girl. I try to see what I overspent on, how much did I bring in versus, uh, what went out. All right, y'all. So that is it for this video. If you like this video, if you like my channel, please give me a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so that you can be notified each and every time I upload. And y'all, I will see you beauties in the next video. Bye, guys.